Hey YouTube, um, so I hope you enjoyed the other iPhone videos that I've uh, uploaded so far. Uh, we just got this, uh, this is the old 4S and this is the new iPhone 5. On my right hand, the black one, as, you, as if you can tell by the screen size. Um, it's a lot lighter, which is nice. Um, you actually notice that quite a bit and it does feel really good to hold it. Um, and um, this guy's almost out of battery. They are both an AT&T phone, and as, as you can tell near the top, I am actually connected to an M-Cell um, device. So we're not going to test the network in this video. Uh, we are going to test some speed tests, though. So for the purposes of doing that, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to um, turn Wi-Fi off on, uh, on both of these real quick so that there's no kind of... Um, network stuff going on in the background that could um, uh, change the results. Um, I've got a program um, that I tested with last time and, and you guys all liked the test. Uh, it's called Pi. And what Pi does is it calculates the um, it calculates Pi to several significant digits. So I like doing 50,000 to kind of demonstrate um, the um, difference in speed. So this is the free version of Pi, so you get some ads and stuff. Um, so 50,000, I'm going to hit them both at the same time. We'll see which one gets done first. So it's calculating uh, Pi to 50,000 places. Uh, so, you know, 3.1459. So this one's already done, and you get this ad as soon as it's done. But don't worry, we'll see the time in a second. Uh, Notice this guy's still going, and uh, I did this test earlier. It's actually quite impressive how much faster the new iPhone is than the old one. Um, okay, so now we got both of these. I'm going to hit skip on this guy and hit skip on this guy. So now that we got pi to 50,000 places, we're going to scroll down all 50,000, and there's a number at the end. And as you can tell, this guy done in just over 7 seconds, and this one took 12 and a half seconds. This is an iPhone 4S, by the way. I think I said that earlier. So that's quite the improvement. Um, in loading apps, you notice it quite a bit. So like, um, here's, a, here's an app um, that's on both of these called Dish Clips. Uh, so if I load that, you notice the video intro to this loads a lot quicker than that. It's pretty impressive how much faster it is. Uh, one's logged in, one's not, so the, the rest of the experience is about the same. Um, and uh, I won't run the speed test app in, in, in this, uh, in this uh, uh, video simply because um, uh, we're not connected to a, a network that's going to make a whole lot of sense uh, right now. And I got tons of apps on this phone, but that, believe me, is not slowing it down. By the way, I just want to mention this iPhone 4S is only about four or five days old. It's, it's literally new. I just got it from the store as a replacement for my other iPhone 4S that um, had some issues. Um, so iPhone 5 versus iPhone 4S, you're looking at about twice the uh, uh, speed, nearly twice the speed on, on calculating um, floating point uh, calculations uh, such as Pi. Um, other things like, um, let's see, uh, I'm going to turn the network back on, but not for, um, not for the same purpose as you might think. Um, so those are both on now. I just want to make make sure I'm connected to the same Wi-Fi. Yeah, okay, connected to the same Wi-Fi. I'm just going to bring up the maps uh, separately though because I don't want to use the Wi-Fi um, simultaneously. Something's wrong with it for whatever reason. So let's try this guy. So for whatever reason, this guy is not really loading it right now. Let's try that again. Huh. Oh, okay, location services was not turned on. That's a good reason. Uh, it is incredibly fast at locating you. Uh, I think that's just iOS 6, though. I, I, I don't necessarily think... It is a iPhone 5 uh, deal. Let's try that one more time. Okay, ready? I mean, this, uh, that, 
That was pretty good. I killed both the map apps. Yeah, they're both very, very good at locating you. And what you notice is also, it doesn't have that normal um, kind of halo so much around. Well, this one kind of does. Um, yeah, but the halo is, is, is when you get very, very close. So it seems to know your location a little bit better um, than the old one. Uh, speakers, um, I don't have um, any music on this one. But what we can do is... Um, Hmm. Do that in the next uh, video. Uh, so we'll uh, tune in for the next video where I will test the speakers uh, and sound quality on both of these. Uh, talk to you soon.